Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Another day, another dollar, and another clap back. My love, Monique. Always consistently, always consistent. She comes back uh, to respond to Derek and Angel because they said uh, the project that they have is going to continue now that Derek is out of the poke. Now, the project, the project that they're going to do is a Tobi movie, as well as a novel based on Derek and Monique's relationship. Now, um, the way they describe Monique, uh, she's not going to sit back. They, the, hmm, you got to pre-order your novel, okay? If you want to read it, I don't know if it's come out. I don't know what's taking her so long. But anyway, the premise is that Monique, a psychotic and delusional woman, is seeking love and affection. Her insecurities push her to search high and low for love in every place possible. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so presenting herself as an insta baddie, hoping for a last shot at love, she finds herself on inmate dating website. Now, Dominic is a very handsome inmate who is serving a 10-year bed. Thinking Monica is a woman of his dream, he quickly falls in love. After his release from prison, Dominic realizes he fell in love with a fixed personality and filters. Mm -mm -mm. Upon his release, Dominic gains instant fame. He soon realizes that Monica is far from the beautiful and loving woman she portrayed. So that's the premise. That's the premise. So basically, it's saying Monique is busted and desperate, and Derek was the angel. So, Monique wasn't going to sit on that. She said she decided to get in her writer's bag, even though she did not, did not make it possessive. Writers should be possessive. Parentheses. But anyway, I'm going to move past it. She got a story to tell. She's going to tell us a story. She says these freaky felons be coming home from prison and be pretending. Pretending it like women, but really was living a gay prison life. I'm just spreading awareness, she said. Be careful, ladies. These freaky felons are vicious and don't care who they hurt. This is just a rough draft of what's to be expected. Book release date coming soon. All right. Now, let's see. Let's, let's get a part of this book of Monique. Now, she's giving us a little sample, too. It's called Diary of an Undercover Felon. Now, Mia, a.k.a. Monica, a.k.a. Monique, was looking for love and came across DJ's, hmm, DJ, maybe Derek, Derek's pen pal ad on social media site. The relationship moved rather quickly. They discussed marriage and planning to have a family of their own one day. Mm, 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 mm. Upon his release, Mia and DJ reached instant fame. So she said, not just Derek. She got it too. She got instant fame too. But she want to put the knife and she want to twist it. She said DJ was battling with his sexuality. So he presented himself as a playboy. So he lied about sleeping with multiple women. So people would think he was the ladies man. So all it took was for Mia to take one deep dive through his cell phone that unlocked all his freaky secrets. He was on escort sites, seeking women and transgenders. Also vanished mode messages and videos being sent from gay men. So, hmm, I'm thinking that Derek was just probably an equal opportunity, uh, you know, user. That's all. Okay. So once Mia confronted him with what she found, the physical abuse against Mia became worse. And I'm like, well, mm, I don't know. I think they both laid hands because I have like a little video on my community channels. You just check it out. It's back there. Uh-huh. She really bought Molly Wax uh, Derek. Well, she gathers them. So anyway, she claims that she was a DV uh, victim. He refused to live his truth and preyed on plus size women for his financial benefit because he didn't want to work a nine to five like a law abiding a citizen, law abiding citizen. That may be true, but neither one, neither one of these folks would be working a nine to five. 
Not even you, Monique. So he then found another BBW who was tacky and desperate. That would be, I guess, Angel. She's trying to describe his current BBW who found herself in almost $90,000 worth of debt buying DJ's love and affection. Well, Monique, that's the pot calling the kettle black. You know, you got those PPP loans, allegedly. That, like, that's in the tens of thousands, 80,000 plus, maybe six figures. Just saying. And you still wanted him. Whether he was gay or not, you still wanted the man because you're still, still fiending for him. Just saying. Just saying. But anyway, my loves, look, I guess we got to be on the lookout for this diary of an undercover felon. Hmm. Are they going to have any room for Tracy Trendy? Because I had not called this relationship way back in the day as being suspect. Hmm. I mean, like, I knew that he was seeing other women. I personally think Derek is an equal opportunity offender. He'll sleep with anything and anyone. So just saying. So um, there you have it. Monique is not going to sit back. We all knew that. And she's going to come out with her own book. And now she's going to need a Tubi movie. Man, right. And, you know, she's going to really make it really, 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 really good. She's going to have to have Tracy Trendy in it. Just saying. But in the meantime, in the between time, my loves, what do you guys think about that? Like and share this video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed because you're not going to get this commentary anywhere else. And drop a line. Let's talk about it in the comment section. All right. Let's talk about it. All right, my loves. I'll catch you all out on the flip side.